Got some barbecue. Oh, it looks so good. Good morning, chicklets. How are you guys doing today? It is becoming a beautiful day up here at the lake. This morning, it was pretty gray and dark and rainy. And if you can see, everything is still soaking wet. So it's actually almost one o'clock today and it's finally starting to get a little bit of blue sky up there, uh, which I am excited about because it's our last day up here at the lake. We're actually gonna try and go out and have some fun. Unfortunately, Auntie Christy and her kids are all gone. So we don't have everybody up here for today, but it's still gonna be a good day in part because we are making street tacos again. Ashley is obsessed with these things. I think this is probably the like seventh time we've had these since we've been camping on Memorial Weekend, so this this girl's kind of obsessed with the tacos. What? I'm just telling them you're kind of obsessed with the tacos. This is probably like the seventh time we've had them since like Memorial the second, Day. This, stuff. this is not the second time. It's like the third. Fifth. Tops. Tops. This stuff. We should get some of this. This is delicious. Is it guessy? I didn't like it that much. Oh, I liked it. Oh my goodness! Mom is wearing shorts. Oh, don't show what? I didn't have a razor. <laughs> but today should be a good day. I'm excited about it. Apollo is excited about it. <laughs> As you can see, his excitement is uncontainable back there. Actually, he was having a good morning because I gave him one of those uh, bones, not like the rawhide bones, but like the real meaty cow bones. And he did. devoured that thing. Yeah. Look at that, that's all that's left of it. The thing was huge. Was it good, bud? Did you have a good little snack? I do feel fairly accomplished today though because we've already been for a walk today. We played games this morning. Uh, Baby Chick watched Toy Story while we had our coffee. We've been making lunch. Like, I feel like I've actually done quite a bit today. You having a good day today, kiddo? Are you excited to go out on the boat while it gets sunny? Yeah. Yeah? What? Sweaty. If we did get sweaty on the walk, yeah. But sadly, Sammy and Ella are gone, huh? But maybe Ava will come back up and you'll get to go on the boat with her. Would that be cool? Maybe. Maybe. You want to hop in the water? Yep, I'll hold your hand. I think maybe Ready? you have thought you Woohoo! How is it? You're swimming! You grab my hand, grab my hand if you're done. Is it just too cold? Too cold? Too cold? <laughs> you okay? I thought you said it wasn't very cold. Did it kind of take the breath out of you? Made it hard to breathe? I think she underestimated just how cold the water is. <laughs> so was that your first ride on one of these? Or have you done them in the what? past? No, I've done these before. Oh, okay. Let's <laughs> ride on this one. How's she doing? Did she fall asleep? I got it. You'll be a sandwich. Goosey, why don't you go down the slide? That is... No, you warm. Part, I guess. Oh, okay. That's not warm at all. Yep. <laughs> go, Dad. Go, Dad, go. Dad, take off your glasses. Remember that? I need glasses anyway. Like, okay. Are you going down the slide? I'm just going to jump up. You guys can go down the slide if you want. Okay, I'm going to run and jump in. I'm going to swim back to you. You guys could probably just and, float on the floaties. And then, we're, right then we're going to get out. All right, you ready? The things you do for your children. Mm -hmm. Count me down. One, two, three, no, you say, four, five, go. You say three, three two, two, one, go. go. Oh my gosh! Now he knows that's how cold it is. Yeah, that's that Okay, jump to it! Come on! One, two, three! Oh, there we go! Oh, I thought he was out! <laughs> get her up, get her up! Get her Here, up. hand, hand, grab, hand! Grab, grab! Oh, she's not happy! Hey, how you feeling? You okay? Was it as fun as you were hoping? Or did it kind of scare you? <laughs> I'm not sure what Ashley just got on camera, but holy moly, that water is freezing. As soon as baby shit got in, she just started screaming and crying. So it's like, it's like you feel bad, but it was also kind of funny at the same time. Oh man. So will you go down the slide with me now? <laughs> no, are you got a grumpy laundry. face? Did you start the laundry? Oh. Yeah. Okay. How you doing, bud? I know you're up here all alone. Poor buddy.
First jet ski ride. Good. Was it good? Yeah. It's like the dirt bike of the water, right? <laughs> you did pretty good. I was proud of you. You were lean. Dirt bikes can't swim. Yeah. <laughs> she was doing good. She was leaning left and right around the corners. We went over one bump where she did, wasn't holding on enough, and she kind of bonked her nose a little bit. But other than that, you did really good. <laughs> what do you think of it, kid? Was it kind of cool? You want to go swim over to it and jump underneath it? <laughs> There's a major Cheeto face going on. The, the lake's Dorito. Lots warmer down here. Dorito. <laughs> Sorry, Dorito face. <laughs> Alright guys, we're already headed out from the cabin. We're all loaded up. Sorry, I'm super distracted right now because we had bees in our car. I don't know if we like parked next to a beehive or what, but every time I like see something moving or I feel something, I feel like there's a bee on me. And there, poor Apollo, there was one in the back sitting with him. Uh, crawling along the window and the back door was closed. I was like, oh crap I don't want him to get stung because I know that he wouldn't do well with it So we had this thing open and I think the bee is gone now So I think we're good to go, but we got the bikes all loaded up and you guys I'm super depressed We have all this and like I said, I forgot baby chick's key and I never had the time to ride I'm so frustrated about that. I mean at least we got to go on the boat Which was awesome and we got to ride the jet ski which is the dirt bike of the water. But I am a little bummed we didn't get to ride. I'm just out here checking, making sure all this is locked because I actually haven't checked all of this since we left. But we are good to go. That's all the way up. All the straps are tight. Are you ready to go? What about you, Maverick? You ready to go? Dude, okay. I'm ready to suck my hand. <laughs> Paul, you ready? Mom, I'm you ready, ready to go home? Do you remember last week when I showed you guys that Ashley's car was getting picked up by the tow truck? If not, there's the video, but uh, basically the gist of it is uh, her car wouldn't start. We had no idea what was going on. So we got it towed to the dealership. Luckily we had that like three year warranty. So the towing and the like checking it out and everything was free of charge. Yes. But the frustrating thing is as soon as they got it there, the next morning when they went to test it out, the guy said it started right up, no issues. A couple hours later, he went back, started right up again. I have no idea what's going on. The only thing I can think of is our driveway is at a slight slant, and so maybe. It's a little more than slight. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a, pr a it's a pretty good it's a decent incline. So the only thing I can think of is maybe it was enough of an incline, and the gas was low enough that it was sitting there for a week, and I don't know. It hadn't even been sitting there for a week. It was sitting there for a few days, and maybe it was just was so low and at the angle that Speed it just couldn't get enough gas. Put into the engine to get it going but that's literally the only thing i can think of that's low that's like make me nervous driving it <laughs> well you're nervous when you just blow a half a tank it's not a half a tank okay it's under okay. a quarter of a tank comment comment question of the day when do you fill up your tank with gas do you like 
push it to the limit, like oh. wait for the whoa, wait for the check engine light to come on, and then like go check another engine. not the check engine light, the gas light, and then go like another 20 miles. Or are you like Ashley? As soon as it gets below half a tank, you start looking for a gas station. Comment down below. When do you fill your gas tank? Long story being short, we are headed back to the dealership uh, to pick up the car. Hopefully, there are still no charges because that's what the guy said on the phone. So it's kind of like a a frustrating win. Like we won, we didn't have to pay any money and the car supposedly works. We won. But it's frustrating because it's like, if it happens again, we have no idea what's going on. So anyways, hopefully, fingers crossed, it was just the fact that the gas was too low. And look at mommy with our new camo hat on. What do you guys think? You she's trying, she's, well you should usually wear those black, what are those kind of squarish hats cadet called? Hats. The cadet hats. So now you're wearing an actual baseball hat. It kind of reminds me of your sister. Do you like, oh, and you got a hat on too. We're just a hat family today. She a you look good. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, just a little bit run down. There she is. Hopefully all ready to go. All right, moment of truth. Will it start? That is so, fr I mean, it's awesome. I love it, but that is so frustrating that I did that a dozen, not a dozen times, four different times at home. Nothing. And look at that. That is not that low. It's like an eighth of a tank, right? Almost exactly an eighth of a tank. I would not feel like I have to go get gas at that point. Oh, well, we are staying positive. We are, we are looking at the positive. It cost us nothing. Just some time. So we're good.